Genesis chapter 5. Adam's descendants to Noah. This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, he had he made him in the likeness of God. Male and female he created them. And he blessed them and named them man when they were created. When Adam had lived a hundred and thirty years, he fathered a son in his own likeness. After his image, and named him Seth. The days of Adam after he fathered Seth were 800 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days that Adam, that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he fathered Enosh. Seth lived after he fathered Enosh 807 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years, and he died. When Enosh had lived ninety years, he fathered Kenan. Enosh lived after he fathered Kenan eight hundred and fifteen years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Enosh were nine hundred and five years, and he died. When Kenan had lived seventy years, he fathered Mahalalel. Kenan lived after he fathered Mahalalel 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Kenan were 910 years, and he died. When Mahalalel had lived 65 years, he fathered Jared. Mahalalel lived after he fathered Jared 830 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Mahalalel were 895 years and he died. When Jared had lived 162 years, he fathered Enoch. Jared lived after he fathered Enoch 800 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he fathered Methuselah. Enoch walked with God after he fathered Methuselah, Methuselah, that's it, 300 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he fathered Lamech. Methuselah lived after he fathered Lamech 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. When Lamech had lived 182 years, he fathered a son, and called his name Noah, saying, Out of the ground that the Lord has cursed, this one shall bring us relief from our work and from the painful toil of our hands. Lamech lived after he fathered Noah 595 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Lamech were 777 years, and he died. After Noah was 500 years old, Noah fathered Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So, chapter 5 gives us the timeline from when Adam was created and the fall from Eden into the story of Noah. And it gives us the timeline of like all the descendants, all the all the fathers, all the sons that led to Noah. And something that I think is really interesting here, Lamech, the father of Noah, lived to be 777 years old. Now, in the Bible, there's a reoccurring number there's a recurrent theme around seven of it being a holy number. So the fact that Noah, Noah's father, at least, lived to be 777 implies that God was at work here. God was at work with Noah and his father.
Uh, mm. See, I, I can't really get anything deeper out of that. That's the only thing that really stuck out to me here. I know, but like, leave your thoughts on like this chapter in the comments if you wish. Uh, let's get a discussion going. Uh, that's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is. Have a blessed day.